has anyone um, started with their Father's Day gifts? Well, I was um, thinking of some things to do, of course, as usual. And I came up with this card template for those who um, may not have access to sublimation or if you just want to prefer to do like a card or whatever type theme um, because everybody does things differently and they prefer different things so of course I'm going to think of more than one way to do something um, so I have my template here that I made of a beer bottle and um, this is going to be the um, what do you call it bottle opener Okay. I've already put my design in there and I've already printed this out on my sublimation printer. So we're going to sublimate a bottle opener today as well as make this um, bottle card. All right, so I have my image here and it's two separate pieces. And well, it was actually more than two, but I have them grouped together so I can know what goes with where. And I'm going to just basically highlight both and ungroup. All right, so now that separates it from everything else. So undo is, of course, here at the top for the newbies. And um, this one is separated as well. So I'm going to undo that just so I can put it back where I want it to be. So we're going to kind of do like a print and cut type thing. Um, let me highlight this and put it back in place. Let me zoom in. Zoom in is up here at the top. Just click and drag so I can figure out where exactly I want it to be. Or place it back where it was. And to zoom, no, to zoom in, that's what you do. And to zoom out, you just hit this button. My bad. All right, so now that I have this separated, that top part separated from this part, I want to place my image that I got from Etsy. Um, like right where I think I may want it right here. Now you may have to resize it. It's always good to use the corner um, squares just to resize and get it how you would like it. So I want a little bit of the suds or whatever you call it at the top and the rest of the beer at the bottom. Alright, so I'm going to copy this so you can right click and hit copy and you'll see why in a second. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this and hold down shift and click the top part of my bottle. Now we're going to go over here to the right side to a modify panel. And we're going to hit crop. And so that cropped the image that I had right here on the top. Now remember we copied it so I want to click off my image from here. Right click and paste in front. What that does is it, uh, once you copy something and you hit paste in front, it puts it exactly where you had it at in the beginning. So it's in the front and I want to send it to the back now. So right click, send to the back. And now I want to hold down shift with this highlighted, my image highlighted. I want to hold down shift and click on the bottom part of the bottle. Now we're going to crop and we have our image here. Okay, see that? And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, since we have our image, now I'm going to click and drag all of it. And there is an outline here. And that's for when we cut it out. I just want it to cut around the outline. So you want to click and drag all of the um, top part of the bottle. I'm going to just um, right click and hit group and then slide it over here on my workspace and I'm going to click and drag all of this right click hit group that way when I move it it will all move um, together and I won't leave anything out all right so now we have that what else do we need um okay we need two more pieces and that's the piece that goes in the inside that's going to slide in the inside with our bottle opener and then we need a back part for this. So let's pull that up and then we'll go to our print and cut section. All right, now, so now that we have our pieces, the white pieces that we're going to use to um, cover up the back of our bottle, 
I'm just going to space it out. And we're going to do a print and cut on this. So we're going to go to page setup. And at the top it says registration marks and you want to turn those on now you want to make sure everything is within your registration marks as always so that you can make sure it cuts everything if it's outside those registration marks it will not cut all right so i think i have everything within the border the lines and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and print this out I'm not going over the print settings. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and print this out. And I am using um, JBD cardstock. It's a lifesaver. It's already cut. Um, comes in a pack. So you can go to JBD, um, I think, corn.com. <laughs> But I'll post a link to it where you can get your pre cut um, cardstock, white cardstock. All right, so waiting on our thing to print. And I have a 7710 for my sublimation and I have a 7820 for just the regular pigment, uh, regular ink. And this is how it came out. So now I'm going to just place it on my um, mat, my silhouette. I use silhouette. And I do need some tape. I use tape to hold it down if my mat is not that sticky anymore. So, right, so I'm going to load my mat and go ahead and get this stuff cut out. Okay, so you want to go to send, and you see how this is red. Whatever is red is what's going to cut out. I don't want that to cut out. So I'm going to click on that and hit, um, well, I'm going to highlight everything and then hit cut edge. So therefore, it's going to cut only around this image. Okay. I'm going to put my blade on 5, force 20, and speed is 10 because I'm impatient. So I want it to cut as fast as possible. And I'm going to hit send so it can cut out our image. You're going to need double-sided tape, and I think that's it. All right, so while that's cutting, I'm going to go ahead and sublimate our bottle opener which is this one right here looks like that on the front and looks like this on the back so I'm going to go ahead and um, tape it and take you over to my heat press all right so we have our image taped oh, taped onto our craft and besties paper 
and then we're going to press make sure you use butcher paper on the bottom and top just to protect your equipment and we're going to press it for 400 degrees 60 seconds I got my heat gloves on because this is going to be hot. And like Bestie Luana says, you don't have to worry about burning your arm with this thing because it comes all the way up. <laughs> um, all right, so this is what it looks like. Hope you can see that. All right. So now we're going to let it cool off and then we will go to the next step. I have my tempered all cut out. So I'm just going to get my pieces off of my mat. And <clears throat> We have all our pieces here. And what I'm going to do is get my double sided tape. And on this side, let's make sure these match up. Yep, they match up. So on <clears throat> this side, you don't want to um, put tape up in this curve area. You want to go right below it and just put. Uh, tape all the way down as close to the edge as you can and then you want to put tape on the bottom now we can put these two together line it up and just press it down so you can <clears throat> get the tape to stick, both sides to stick together. Now you have your pocket area. Okay, got your pocket area. There goes your front of the bottle on the um, bottom of the bottle and we have this piece the top part and we have this so I'm gonna put just you can go around it if you want to but I just put a um, just one line of glue and you can do this one from the back because it's kind of a small a little bit smaller than the front so you want to line it up to the top and then just press it down so you can get the glue. Now we have our bottle opener and we need some tape. <clears throat> now you can put, um, well I'm going to roll my tape up and put it on the back or you can just tape it to your um, card stop. I'm going to place it in the middle. Press it down. And now we have our top, top part. And pretty much all you have to do is just slide the this piece in, the bottle opener in. Slide it all the way down. Make sure this is on top. And there you have your oops, you have your uh, Father's Day card. So that's what it looks like all put together and then they can easily just pull it out and it says Happy Father's Day. So any question oh actually let me show you what else that I I did make. Um, I'm gonna use this same bottle opener. <clears throat> So I made this acrylic cutout and it says Happy Father's Day on it. 
see it says pops happy father's day so i bought these um magnets from amazon these little small magnets from amazon and so they're pretty strong magnets so you can make this acrylic cut out into a uh, refrigerator magnet now of course on the back I would probably um, not hot glue but I would probably glue it on the back with some E6000 and it's already magnetic anyway so you can do that and then you have your Father's Day um, refrigerator magnet or if they want to hang it up on their wall or wherever but they will have their own personal bottle opener so two ideas this one for acrylic and this one for the card so it's basically whatever you prefer either one is nice all right so if you have any questions just let me know all right bye